So today we're going to go over uh, packing, uh, in particular UPX, because it's a pretty easy example to give. And uh, just keep in mind that we're here over at ringzerolabs.com. And if you have any questions on malware or anything you see in this video, feel free to hit us up. But packing. Um, packing can be used for good and bad things. Packing essentially will take an executable and shrink it down in size. Um, in shrinking it, it also removes a lot of indicators within the file, like uh, legible strings and uh, imports, things like that. And we'll see an example of that here in a second. So today we're going to be using this ASCII converter.exe. It's not a piece of malware. It's just a normal program. It just converts ASCII and uh, string manipulation type stuff. So we can look at it in P Studio. To get an idea of the strings, it looks like there's 21 interesting strings, um, uh, email addresses, and a few imports, etc., etc. So if we go ahead and look at UPX, and we're going to pack this file real quick. So there are the options. So we're going to pack it better, or compress it better and I'll put it to a file name called pack and we're going to pack the ASCII converter and there it is looks like it shrunk it in size about 50 percent so we can verify that by looking at the file details so the original was around 32 kilobytes on disk the packed version is 16 kilobytes on disk so about half and that can be used legitimately. Uh, packing a file like this uh, can make it easier to download the file and get it on another person's machine. And that's also a reason that malware likes to use it as well, is because it does make it smaller and it makes it harder to read. And we'll go into that bit here now. So like we saw before, uh, the original file had 21 legible interesting strings. A new version, we'll compare here like it has 16 and we see here go side by side and we see that the packed version over here does not have the email address the domain or any of that in the new one and why that is is because the data is packed it becomes unlegible um, just viewing normal strings. And again, that can be used to hide information that's in the file to defeat um, antivirus signaturing and things like that. But in order to unpack the file, so if we want to get back to the original file here with UPX, it's pretty easy. So we'll go ahead and take the packed executable and throw it in a debugger. And UPX has a pretty easy um, process that it goes through. It's going to start with this push AD. And what push AD does is push all the registers onto the stack. All the registers over here, EAX, EBX, ECX, all of them. And then if we scroll all the way down the code, we'll eventually see a pop AD right here. Pop AD is going to pop all those registers back off the stack into their original locations. So if we run the file to this point, there, we have pop ID. So we just keep going down to the last instruction that we can see, which is this jump. And we step and step again. And now we're into the unpacked code. So we can use something like uh, Scylla to dump this file out. we find all the imports, we dump the file, go ahead and fix the dump, and there we go. So now, we should be cl back close to the original file. If we look at the strings, there's our email address, there's all of our imports, there's the domain, there's the, another email address. 
So this was just a super quick example of what packing is. Um, a quick example using UPX on packing this original file, showing the packed version, and then unpacking that file back to a legible code that can be uh, looked through and uh, the string should be back in place. If you have any questions about packing, um, there are many, many, many packers out there. UPX is just a very common one and it's very easy to demonstrate what packing does to a file. But if you have any questions on this packer or any other packers out there or malware in general, go ahead and hit us up at ringzerolabs.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions.